morning class. How are you guys doing today? I know I'm doing a lot better this morning because the sun is shining on this beautiful Wednesday. And I want to share with you another basic fact strategy for multiplying by nine. And before we get started, I just thought you guys might appreciate Selma's little artwork that she left behind for me um, yesterday. I guess she's thinking about presents and sunshine and have no idea what this is, but I thought it was precious and thought you guys might like a little little treat of a drawing from a four and a half year old. But anyway, um, it made my morning. So um, let's get started with this strategy, multiplying by nine, called the tens minus one set strategy. And it is the way it sounds. We're going to multiply the other factor that isn't nine by 10, and then we're going to take away a set of that other factor. So basically what we're going to be thinking about if we're multiplying 7 times 9 is that we're going to be thinking about as like 9 is the number of groups. Instead of 9 groups of 7, we're going to multiply by 10 groups of 7. So numerically, in, in expression form, it's going to look like 7 times 10 first. Okay. We always put parentheses around what we are thinking first, okay, and what we do in our problems first to, to follow order of operations. 7 times 10 is 70, but then we're going to need to minus one set of 7. I'm going to model that with the 7 times 1 fact as well, so that you can see that 10 minus that one set is, is 9 sets, okay? So when we multiply 7 times 9, we get 70, and then we're going to minus a set of 7. And so when we think about 70 minus 7, and we think about that number line and, and skip count back or count back, and you'll end up with 63. Okay. So what does that look like if we were modeling it visually with an area model? Get my area model started. So we would have 7 times 10 is what we're thinking about, and we know all together that that is 70 inside of there, 7 times 10 is 70. But we're, we are then removing a group, so let's remove that one group. So we no longer have the 70 in there, but it's going to be a combination of these two, right? So this is nine groups there. So we are removing a group of seven, and so this has to be the 63. So 63 and seven make the 70. So that is the tens minus one set strategy. It works for even large numbers if you wanted to multiply um, 346 times nine. You can multiply 346 times 10, and then remove a set of 346 and you would have 346 times um, 9, which is really cool. Let's do one more basic fact so that you can see it again more quickly. Uh, what's another hard fact? I mean, you want to go ahead and do 9 times 9, or mm, let's do 8 times 9, or 9 times 8. It doesn't really matter the order of factors because of the commutative property. Um, Nine groups of eight is the same as eight groups of nine. It's just the array or the, the area model is turned differently. Let me just review that, that um, property with you right now. So nine times eight is the same thing as, or eight times nine is the same thing as nine times eight. We just turn the area model differently. Okay, and we're going to find the answer is 72 here in just a minute. Okay. So, if we're using the tens minus one set strategy, and by the way, if you want to explore that commutative property a little bit more, get out um, some coins, get out uh, some pennies, and make nine, nine rows of eight, and then make eight rows of nine, and you'll see it's the same number of pennies in both, um, both arrays. So, okay, 10 minus one set strategy, Nine times eight, so we're thinking about the factor that is not nine, and we're going to multiply that factor by ten. So ten groups of eight minus one group of eight. Okay, so 
8 times 10 is 80, and 80 minus 1 group of 8 equals that 72. Okay. Um, I think it would be cool for us to do that larger uh, problem just so that you can see you can use this strategy beyond just basic facts um, that could be more efficient than maybe using the standard algorithm or using something else. Um, so, um, 347, I think, is what I said earlier, right? That's how my brain is working this morning, and I can subtract that group quickly. Okay, so 347 times 9 is the same as 347 times 10. Didn't leave myself a lot of room, that's okay. 347 times 10, but we need to subtract a group of 347. You guys see that? Did I mess that up? Okay, so 347 times 10, whenever you multiply any number by 10, all the digits shift one place to the left and the place value chart. So that three is gonna be 3,000, the four tens is gonna become 400, the seven ones is gonna become 70, and that zero that was in the tenths place is now going to cross over the decimal and, and move to the ones place. So 3,470, and then we need to subtract one group of 347. All right, I prefer addition much more than subtraction, but that's okay. Let's subtract 347 from 470. All right, so I really need to think about 70 minus 347. That's where the issue comes into play. So... What would be a quick, I think I'm going to remove 40 first. That would get me down to 30. Then I need to remove seven ones. So that would get me to, where was I? 23. Oh, I also got to remove the 300. I'm forgetting. So 3,123. I'm going to check that and make sure that my, my subtracting skills were fine. It's really hard to do this on the spot, but you feel like everybody's watching you. So, um, 3,123, let's add that 347 back just to make sure I get back what I started with. If I did, then that means I subtracted correctly. So, 3 plus 7 is 10. Regroup. 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 4. I did. I subtracted correctly. Thank goodness, because then I would look, uh, look kind of silly up here being your uh, math teacher and not being able to subtract that quickly in my head. So, um, yeah, the strategy works for even uh, multi-digit numbers when you want to multiply by nine, and I think it's rather cool, and I just love math so much. You guys know that, and I'm uh, really itching to get back in the classroom and uh, get back to uh, normal math class and being excited to teach you new things but yeah so enjoy the multiplying by nine strategy 10 minus one set and have a great day